Hi folks, this is just a quick video to explain the CARS model. Um, so I've put the handout up on Blackboard and this is the handout here. And what this opening uh, few paragraphs is telling you is that there's a researcher named John Swales who came up with this model. And all this model is, is um, basically he uncovered, oh, there's a really consistent pattern to how introductions are formatted in scholarly research articles. So why are we learning about that? Because we're going to occasionally read scholarly research articles, which can be a little challenging. And so if you familiarize yourself with the patterns that they typically use, it's going to be so much easier to navigate them. So here is the pattern. First, you establish, here's the you know field or area that I'm writing in. He calls it, you know, making, establishing a territory. Um, and it does these smaller things, you know, it says it's important. That's what claiming centrality means. Um, it might, you know, make generalizations about the topic or, you know, typically you're going to see it'll review previous research on the subject. Okay. That's all that's involved in saying, here's the area of research that I'm working in. Then the next thing that these introductions do is they say, here's what the problem is. So usually that means here's something that was overlooked, or here's a question I have. Um, something that's overlooked is what he means by indicating a gap, um, uh, making a counterclaim, which means, you know, arguing against something that's been said. Um, and then finally, the writer usually occupies that niche. They usually say, here's my solution to that problem. Um, and then they'll say, here's how I'm going to do that. My purpose is this. And here's what the structure of this article is going to look like. Um, so that's all that, that is. It's saying, here's what I'm going to research. Here's what's been said about it so far. Here's where the problem is and what we've said about it so far. And now here's my solution. Okay. That's what most scholarly articles do in the introduction kind of boils down simply. Right. So I have here an example, but I think actually what I want to do here is, um, just quickly say, okay, how does this apply to the article sponsors of Liter literacy by Deborah Brandt? And if we look at this opening, um, she starts with saying that, um, an historian named Joseph Kett has looked at a history of adult learning in the U S and he tended to look at um, the intellectual atmosphere available to young apprentices who worked in the small decentralized print shops of antebellum America. All right. What we sometimes do when we look at the introduction is say, okay, this is the most important part, the opening. I'm going to read it super closely. But actually, what you've just learned from this CARS model is that the very opening of a research article is seldom the most important part. Why? Because that's usually the part that's just saying, here's the general topic and what other people have said about it. So now we know, okay, we want to actually speed up our reading here. Um, what I kind of try to do is look for sentences that jump out at me as here's where the author is restating something. So here's a sentence where Brandt starts to pull things together. So I might look for a sentence like this. While this shift in working conditions may be evidence um, of the desk skilling of workers, it also offers a site for reflecting upon the dynamic sources of literacy and literacy learning. This is where we're starting to get closer to what she's looking at. She's basically trying to say um, that we haven't done enough yet to look at how people acquire literacy from, from what she calls sponsors. So what you need to do is read a little further. Now we see this is a much more helpful sentence, right? For understanding what she's writing about. The field of writing studies has had much to say about individual literacy development. Um, but this is where she starts to get to the problem. Um, but we haven't yet done enough to um, look at larger contexts of profit, profit making and competition. In other words, we haven't looked enough at how it has an economic component. And here's where we know she's gonna start saying what she's doing to fix that problem. So already you can see, look, the first page in a little bit is her looking at previous research. It's not until the second page and spilling into the third page that we start to understand what her project will be about. So that's why you looked at the CARS model. 
that's what I hope you get out of this video is starting to understand how to read an introduction so that you're not confused from the start when you start to approach a scholarly uh, research article. If you have more questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.